Hi lads, I'm just going to talk to you about valve formation. These are glacio uh, locustrine deposits, as in lake deposits, deposited mainly, uh, sorry, annually in lakes at glacial margin, so on the edges of glaciers in lakes there. And here's a, a lake here, um, which you can imagine is on the edge of a glacier. Now, what happens is that you have valves are alternating layers of dark coloured silt on top of layers of lighter coloured sand. And the larger calibre materials are deposited during late spring when meltwater streams are experiencing peak discharge and maximum load. So what you tend to get is your larger sand of the sediments, the lighter colour, but larger particles being deposited. And what then happens is that in the cooler autumn, when volumes of meltwater decrease, streams experience lower discharge and can only carry finer calibre sediments. So you end up with finer, darker coloured silt being deposited on top of the sand. And this continues year after year. So again, the next late spring, when there's large amounts of meltwater, you end up with large amounts of sediment and sand being deposited on top. And you then again the following uh, cooler autumn, you get your finer sediment being deposited on top. So you end up with a light band, dark band, light band, and then a dark band. Now, each year, new bands of light and dark materials are deposited, and by counting the number of valves, So by counting the number of valves, it's possible to obtain the age of the sediments. So the thicker or thinner a valves can be indicate whether there's been warmer periods where you have more meltwater, so thicker valves, or colder periods where there's less meltwater and therefore less sediment arriving, so you have thinner valves. So it's very useful in looking at valves to tell us about previous climate changes. And that's valves.